Hi guys and welcome to this course all about pentatonic scales. Now in previous courses we've spent a lot of time doing chord construction and also doing scale construction for the major and the minor scales okay and specifically and especially the major scale okay now today we're looking at the pentatonic scale now it's a funny old thing because when you're actually learning the guitar and especially if you like blues and you like rock and pop quite often the first scale you're going to learn is probably the minor pentatonic scale and that's because it's so usable it just sounds great and you know within a few lessons or, or a few weeks you're, you can be soloing really cool solos you know like Hendrix stuff Clapton stuff Jimmy Page stuff in in not much time at all um, with this scale okay so a lot of people kind of get all the way through that and have this great scale shape that they can play up and down the guitar but never really quite get a grasp of the theory of it you know why does it work so well and what is a major pentatonic versus a minor pentatonic and how does it relate to a, a full scale and things like that so that's what we're going to be covering okay so the first thing in this introduction video that I want to get across to you is the pentatonic simply means five note scale okay that's pretty much a direct translation of, of the word okay so let's just write the word up there okay so pentatonic this kind of pent bit means five pentatonic okay now um, I'm no linguist so I'm not gonna go into any more detail than that but it simply means a five note scale okay so when we've looked at scales in the theory section in the past we've looked very much at major scales and minor scales which are seven note scales and in kind of in the guitar skills sections where we're actually playing the guitar we're talking about this as a full scale okay this is a, a typical seven note scale a full scale okay with the pentatonics you only take five of those notes okay so this is the really cool thing about the pentatonic and I think it offers a little bit of an insight as to why it maybe works so well okay if you think about it if you're playing a scale which has got seven notes to choose from okay playing over a key there's there's a couple of notes within that where you, you've got quite a realistic chance of hitting maybe a wrong note at the wrong time okay especially when you think that a seven note scale has got tones and semitones in it so notes that are one apart from each other that's a semitone isn't it one apart one fret apart from each other okay if you accidentally hit the wrong one of those at the wrong time you could cause a fair bit of tension and especially to a kind of a beginner's ear it would be oh that's wrong I've done something wrong okay however with a pentatonic you're never gonna get a note a semitone apart it's all tone or tone and a half okay which is either two frets or three frets apart and this offers a pretty good insight as to why you almost can't go wrong with the pentatonic scale you know any note you hit in any order at pretty much any time you know this is all you know you can still get it wrong but it really is quite hard to sometimes will sound pretty good so the pentatonic scale absolutely brilliant scale However, we need to discover that there is a major pentatonic and there is a minor pentatonic and these are very different scales with very different sounds, okay? So, what I want you guys to do to prepare for the next lesson is I simply want you to write out the scale of D major, okay? That's the scale we're gonna be working with, okay? So just pause for a second because I'm gonna write it out now, okay? Just want you to kind of do it with me, okay? So. If you can do it without me just pause the video but I'm gonna go for it now okay so the D major scale okay and I'm just gonna come over here for a second okay and we're just gonna put it here D E F sharp G A B C sharp and D okay and that is your D major scale okay and again just to really constantly go over and over this I found that because I did tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone and that gave me my major scale okay so with that written down somewhere on a piece of paper or even if you're just following me on the board here have that there ready to go in your head because next time we're going to dive straight in and look at how to construct these pentatonic scales